the third BG Bender that I have in order that I got it. Yes, this is a black one. This one was kind of a surprise. I had been looking at the Harley Benton website at all the beautiful colors and beautiful gu uh, guitars that they offered and I had already pre-purchased the 25th anniversary because it had some stainless steel frets and brass saddles and you know just kind of a upgraded version for their offering and it took Carl a little while to get that guitar because they were not readily available so after receiving the seafoam green which was the second one that I got after the Lake Placid Blue this one landed as an opportunity from Carl to purchase it and I'll tell you what I'm so glad I did this is the only G bender that I have in the arsenal G bending is not as in instinctive to me as the B bending but after a little while you just end up you know bending it anyway and that's how you learn right so the cool thing about this the modifications once again not because it needed just because um, I could because I had it um, making it a G bender I put a brass saddles in and then I also use a, a Seymour little 59 right there and I did the a modification where I took only the tone cap out of the bridge uh, excuse me the neck pickup so you can see they're up a little bit I'm goofed around with the height of them so I can reach them during live performances sometimes my hands are sweaty and they're hard to just reach and grab what you need at the right time so I'm always goofing around with things like that but that's the only modifications took the, the neck pickup out of the tone control and added that Seymour Duncan 59 and it's really a great sounding guitar so we are coming through the fender twin and this is what it sounds like this is in the neck position and then in the bridge position that let's see if we can find us a little something but before we do one more time I can't speak enough the mechanism incredible the uh, tension adjustment tuning adjustment and I've never made any adjustments to any of these guitars relative to the tension on the pull down they're just incredibly smooth just smooth and they bounce back they don't wobble when you're on stage bouncing up and down I've got probably about mm, 30 40 hours on stage with this and every moment's been a treat so let's get a little bit of raunchy blues
begin to tell you how much fun these BG benders are. They're just incredibly fun. You just start pulling on it and seeing what the heck happens. Nobody ever died from a bad note. So man, if you can do it at a lesser price point, why not? <laughs> the quality of these guitars, incredible. I love it. I sure love it. This is the third one that I bought and which led obviously to the last one I'm going to do here in just a few moments in its own video. But once again, Carl's workmanship, second to none. These BG benders for the price point, I don't believe there is a better deal in the world of music if you are a guitar player wanting to bend. If there is, I'm simply not aware of it. I have a Sertano Palm Bender, incredible mechanism. I've got two glaziers, great for the money. I would never have not wanted to have bought those. Would pay the money over and over every time. They're just a different beast. But it's a little different feeling when you have something in your hands that is not a high price point, but the quality is there. And these Harley Benton guitars are absolutely wonderful guitars for the money. And then when Carl does the magic, I will put these guitars against anything that I have, and I love them. Thank you so much for listening. What fun it is to play some music with you beautiful folks and for you beautiful folks, and thank you for spending your time. Let's see if we can grab one more and do one more of these videos on these BG Benders. Oh, where did we go? <laughs> I guess it would be helpful if I plugged that thing back in. <laughs>